What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. Moving on to another question dealing with circles. Now this question here, you don't have to write it out. It's in the lecture notes. You could print those out there at the beginning of this section. If you're watching this on YouTube, the course link is in the description box. So we have a stone that drops in the water, creating a circular ripple. So stone drops and then pretty much there's just waves and then the shape of the waves is a circle and it's getting larger and larger and we have two scenarios here. So in part A, if its radius grows at two centimeters per second, what is the equation of the circle after six seconds? And then part B, if its area grows by 10 pi centimeters squared per second, what is the equation of the circle after three seconds? So two different scenarios where in this one we're given the radius growth and then in part B, we're given how much the area is growing by. Now, for both of these, what we're going to have to do is find the equation of the circle. And the equation, it's going to be in the x squared plus y squared equals r squared format. Now, one thing I want to mention here is that it doesn't really here, this doesn't really relate to the Cartesian plane. And so we're not told that we're modeling this on a Cartesian plane and where the center of the circle on the Cartesian plane is going to be. And so we could just assume that if we do model this on the Cartesian plane, the center of the circle is going to be at zero and zero. So it's going to be in this format over here, right? Where the x squared plus y squared, as I mentioned in previous videos, whenever you just see this on the left side, it's assuming that the center of the circle is at zero and zero, right? So this is the format that the equation is going to be in. So just wanted to mention that. So really what we have to find for both of these scenarios is the radius. And once we have the radius, we just have to plug that in there. And then we have the equation of the circle. And so finding the radius in part A, it's going to be a little bit easier than part B because we're told how much the radius is directly growing at. It's growing at two centimeters per second. And so what is the equation of the circle after six seconds? Well, if it's growing at two centimeters, what's the radius going to be? If it's growing at two centimeters per second, so the first second it's two centimeters, the second second it's four centimeters, six, etc. What's the radius going to be after six seconds? Well, we would just multiply this by six, right? Because we have seconds and then over here we have seconds as well. You got to make sure that both of these are um, in the same units. So this is per second and then this is seconds over here. If this said maybe like six minutes, let's say, then we would have to take the six minutes, convert it two seconds by multiplying it by 60, right? So then we would plug in 360 over here, but it's at six seconds. So we just plug in a six over here. Two times six would give us 12. So the radius of the circle after six seconds is 12. So now we just simply plug in that 12 for the radius. We end up with x squared plus y squared is equal to one. 44. So that's the answer to part A. That's the equation of the circle after six seconds. Now, what about with part B? Part B, we're not directly told how much the radius is growing. We're told how much the area of the circle is growing. So this one's going to be, there's going to be a preliminary step to getting that radius because we're given the area. Now, the area of a circle in general, what is it? Just as a review, it's pi r squared, right? It's pi r squared. And so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to actually solve for that radius first within this equation for the area of a circle. And then once we have the radius, we could plug it into that formula. So first thing, if its area grows by 10 pi centimeters squared per second, what is the equation of the circle after three seconds? So we have to figure out first, what's the area going to be after three seconds? Well, if it's growing at 10 pi centimeters squared per second, 
in two seconds, it's going to be 10 pi plus 10 pi, which is 20 pi. So it's going to be 20 pi centimeters per second. And then at three seconds, you add 10 pi again, it's going to be 30 pi. Or you could take this and multiply it by three, which would give you 30 pi. Okay, so the area that we're dealing with is going to be 30 pi centimeters squared. So that's what we would plug in here. And then we have pi r squared. And we have to just solve for that radius now, given the area that we're working with. And how can we do that? Well, notice that we have a pi on both sides. So we could actually divide both sides by pi to get rid of that. And actually, we end up with 30 equals r squared. 30 is in the radius, it's the radius squared. So if we wanted to get the radius, we could just square root that. It'd be this, uh, it would be the square root of 30. But notice that over here, we have to plug in r squared anyways. So we could just plug in 30 directly. We don't have to go and find the radius and then take that and plug it in here because we'd end up, the square root of 30 squared would just give us 30. Because we're plugging in for r squared there, we could just plug in 30 directly. And so the answer, to number two would just be x squared plus y squared is equal to 